Well, well, what do we got here? Finally, this is one of my latest projects I've been working on, designing this 3D printed coil shell. This is the shell for a um, three inch coil, which I use for 5B, 5.5B, 5 5B, 5 3B model. Um, I can by now probably call it like a classic uh, coil. And so here is the first uh, prototype, first sample that I would like to show you. I am still not able to print it fully. Uh, I just able to print this and this needs to be printed from high temperature plastic. This can be printed from regular PLA plastic talking about 3D printing. So it's made out of three parts. First part is the handle itself. And two clamshell um, top and bottom for the coil itself. So yeah, it took me a while um, to get this uh, to this specs it's been back and forth with designer and getting it designed perfectly so that it would match a coil and thermal switch and everything else so this is the top part and this is the bottom shell which holds the coil and the thermal switch in here on the side can use normally open or normally close thermal sensor and this is the coil it's designed for 3 inch uh, 72 millimeters wide and uh, 15 millimeters actually 72 millimeters wide this way and uh, 15 millimeters wide this way thickness of the coil you can have one inch or smaller uh, diameter inside diameter for the coil um, let me take a measurement with my meter caliper so it's point uh, six inch and if I switch to millimeters 15 point three millimeters wide and seventy eight millimeters um, wide on a coil. So this one is made point six millimeter. It's uh, insulated copper strip with the captain tape insulated in my previous video i showed you guys how to insulate it um, using some machinery that i made and so it snugly fits inside this shell here and sensor goes on the side here and then it closes up and the idea is to attach the wires. Um, there is a center pin wire that will be going over the coil and connect to the center pin. And then the second um, wire will, will be soldered to this uh, edge um, strip here on the side. So there's two wires would come out and then uh, two wires for the thermal switch. Um, so idea is to once it's all connected here and wires are coming out then um, turn it to the side here like this fill it up with epoxy to this point here and then slide this over the wires turn it this way and then fill it up with the epoxy as well let it cure 
and there you go you got yourself a coil um, this handle part can be made out of um, regular PLA uh, plastic and this one needs to be made out of high temperature plastic because coil can get up to 100 degrees Celsius and the plastic needs to withstand the temperature um, and don't melt and don't bend so that's the idea um, currently I am not offering this uh, for sale as um, as a kit yet but uh, down below I'm gonna lean, leave the link where you can um, get the files for this and there is going to be three files one for top one for bottom and for this um, handle so if you have a printer you'll be able to print it yourself you're gonna need ASA plastic for this part and you can print it out of ASA as well but PLA is good enough and there is no heat on this part so and down below there is going to be a link where you can and more information where you can get this um, right now I am uh, not able to give this for free but eventually I will um, I invested quite a bit of uh, funds into getting it designed and I'm trying to recover some of the funds um, I am trying to be open source for all other designs and eventually this will be open source so you can help me out by getting the files from me and um, I'll uh, link the information down below where you can uh, order them if you don't have a printer and uh, maybe soon when I get a printer which can print ASA I'll be able to offer a full kit for this uh, coil myself or you can get it here printed here um, by the way, there is a companies which can um, print it uh, for you here in the United States or you can order it over the seas, which is probably cheaper. All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Just leave me a comment down below. And as always, have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.